So you want to know how to get your iPod Classic working on your Mac OS, Mojave, Lion, or whatever update you have on your Mac device. This is a quick workaround. Now these newer Mac OS X's, they are deprecated from these older iPods. They're not supposed to work, but you can get in there and you can get them to work. You can put your music on there and everything. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's not that difficult. So what I want you to do is first, you're gonna do the flash upgrade, of course, because everybody does the flash upgrade. You can check YouTube for other videos on how to do it. I'm not gonna sit here and explain it, but you just need to get in a cheap adapter, a compact flash card, or a compact flash adapter that will allow you to put one of these in there. That's what I did on here. Only went to 32 gigs because A, I'm cheap, and B, I just don't have that much music. So this was originally a HP 20 gig. I just went up to 32 gig with the flash memory. And this thing is at least like 15 years old as it slides off the table. Hold on, hold on. I'm leaving all that in there, by the way. This is real, we real over here. So step one is make sure your iPod doesn't slide off the table. Step you. step two is so you're gonna turn it on. And you're not gonna um, listen to the freeway. What you're gonna do is you're gonna boot it up in diagnostic mode so this is how you do it this is how you reset your ipod you reset your ipod with the middle clicker menu button when it resets middle button back button diagnostic mode when you're in diagnostic mode you just want to go down to hold on, hit play to continue it says hit play to continue, hit play. And you wanna go into reset. You wanna go into reset and you wanna reset your iPhone. Now, I'm not gonna, I mean iPod. I'm not gonna reset it actually. I'm just gonna reset it like this. But after you put the flash memory in there, you do wanna do that reset. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it. So I'm just gonna reset it that way. And I probably take too many extra steps when I do this, but I just like to make sure everything's cleared out. Let me make sure I didn't do anything wrong. Let me make sure my music is still on here. Let me go to albums. All right, everything's on here. All right, so here's how to get it working on your OS X device. You're gonna reset it again. Like I said, it may be one too many steps, but this is the way I like to do it. You're gonna reset it again. And you gotta do this fast. And put it in disk mode that's middle button play button hold middle button play button as soon as it resets like soon as the screen goes blank you want to shift over so you see how it says okay to disconnect now you want to grab the connector you want to connect it to iTunes now you want to have iTunes already open when you do this you just want to go ahead and connect it and it should pop up on your screen it just says it should say welcome to your new ipod and from there you can just drag and drop your files as usual and you're in business so i hope this helps somebody who has one of these older ipod devices as usual if you want to just put it back in the, in the regular ipod mode you can play your music you just reset it again let me show you that it doesn't delete anything or do anything crazy so you just want to reset it Go to shuffle. Let's just see what kind of random songs we got on here. And there you go. And you, as you see, I got the compact flash, so it goes a little bit faster. You see how fast that loads? You don't hear any anything spinning. As a matter of fact, I have the mechanical disk drive right here, just for proof. Just for proof's sake, that's the mechanical. Took that out. Put the compact in. If you have some of these older MP3 devices, they're still good, man. They're still good today. I have a lot of them. I have this one right here. I might do a video on this. I like this little thing. This thing is pretty cool. This older technology from about 10, 15 years ago, it still works, man. It's still good. 
and it's not made to break like newer things are. I don't know how many, I probably had at least 10 iPhones since iPhone 5. I probably went through at least 10 of them. Like I, y'all know anybody with the iPhone knows it's going to break eventually, but these old devices, they're still kicking and they still work great. The only thing I've changed on here is the battery and the compact flash up, upgrade, which you don't even need to do. My mechanical drive still works. It's just, it's just so loud and I just decided to upgrade it. But yeah, that's all you need to do, man. Hope this helps somebody. Make sure you show some engagement in the video. Help me get up in them search engines, you know. But thanks for watching. Peace.